Rapid Pressure Rise Relay for Transformer Rapid Pressure Rise Relays are designed to respond to rates of pressure change above predetermined safe limits set by the transformer manufacturer. The Rapid Pressure Rise Relay RPRR utilize sudden changes in internal transformer pressure to sense internal faults. Then with its control circuit de-energize the transformer and or provide an alarm. High-level internal faults are detected sooner by other electrical relays. RPRR can sense low-level internal faults that are often not able to be identified by conventional protection schemes. The purpose of this device is to detect a fault in a transformer quickly, while the pressure is still increasing and before the destructive effects of overpressure triggers the pressure relief device. The RPRR switches a set of contacts to indicate that it has detected a fault. The RPRR is designed not to respond to normal pressure variations caused by temperature variation, mechanical shock and vibration or pump surges. Why put an RPRR on a transformers? A severe fault or arcing causes gas to be generated, which in turn starts to build up pressure inside a transformer. Other protection systems like PRD would allow the arcing to increase pressure till the operating pressure of the PRD is reached. This extended period of arcing causes damage to the transformer. The Rapid Pressure Rise Relay RPRR gives dynamic protection to oil-filled power transformer because it initiates action when the pressure is rising and before it has reached the point where the PRD operates. So the duration of arcing is reduced significantly due to the ultra-fast response of the Rapid Pressure Response Relay. The RPRR, when mounted on the transformer, minimizes the possibility of such occurrences by detecting rates of pressure increase in excess of the safe limit limits established by the transformer manufacturer. RPRR are designed to not operate for steady state or non-fault changes in temperature, vibration, mechanical shock, pump surges, but to operate quickly and with an inverse time characteristic, for changes in these parameters due to internal faults. Operation of PRRR RPRR are sometimes prone to operation due to external faults and other non-fault events. Makes their application a trade-off between dependability for internal transformer faults and security against other events. Rapid Pressure Rise Relays IS Microprocessor Based Relay Available Since 1990s Monitors separately for rapid pressure rise, slow static pressure rise, provides a built-in seal and relay, and an analog current loop to provide SCADA or remote pressure sensing. It may be used for either in gas or under oil applications by settings adjustments. It has adjustable sensitivity and are commonly applied at nuclear generation facility transformers where safety and sensitivity to trip XFMR are greater issues. Available with one or three pressure sensors. Adjustable fast and slow pressure rise set points. Momentary or seal in actuation of control and alarm signals. Individual set points to provide alarms prior to trip signals should a pressure event occur. Rapid pressure rise relay applications. Detect faults not normally seen by current based relays. Applicable to any size and type of liquid-filled transformer. Use often based on the transformer size, location within the power system, cost, and past operating experience. Decision to trip and or alarm has been an ongoing concern since the early development of this type of relay. Rapid Pressure Rise Relay The faults that are low in current magnitude that may not be detected by conventional current-based relays and other unusual events include Turn to turn. High resistance joints. High eddy current between laminations. High impedance faults. Hot spots on the core due to a short circuit of the lamination insulation. Core bolt insulation failure. Faulty joints. Loss of oil due to leakage. Rapid pressure rise relay could also aid in the protection of grounding transformers and transformers with complicated circuits like phase shifting and phase regulating. RPRR is insensitive to the exact location of the winding fault. 
RPRR may also be used in the tap changer mechanism compartment. Faults listed above may result in current magnitudes that are well below the sensitivity of the overcurrent or differential relay. These conditions will eventually evolve into a more significant fault, but perhaps at the expense of considerable damage. The ability to detect the condition sooner and to initiate tripping could prevent extensive transformer damage. Rapid Pressure Rise Relay Testing An appropriate RPRR test program should be used to ensure RPRR works correctly. Tests can be performed using a simple pressure go no go test within specific pressure ranges. Performed at installation and at least during the transformer's normal maintenance cycle every 3 to 5 years. Conclusions RPRR have proven to be a relatively dependable relay for rapid detection of low-level internal faults. However, their nature is such that they are sometimes prone to operation due to external faults and other non-fault events. Most users use rapid pressure rise relays to trip for some purpose, and over half also use them to alarm. Newer relays and designs have reduced MIS operations and may warrant reconsideration for those utilities that changed their designs to alarm only or remove the trip. Thank you.